In this video, let us see about 4 quadrant chopper fed DC drive. So in 4 quadrant chopper fed DC drives, the motor can operate in all the 4 quadrants. So we have 4 quadrant operation like forward motoring, forward braking, reverse motoring and reverse braking. So this 4 quadrant chopper can operate in all the four modes. For this operation you need four switches, four diodes and a DC motor. Type E or four quadrant chopper actually consists of four switches CH1, CH2, CH3 and CH4 with its anti-parallel diode. Okay, totally a switch and anti-parallel diode will form a combination and four such switches are there. Now load should be connected between the two legs. So the load is a DC motor here. So this chopper can be made to operate individually in each of the four quadrants. So it can operate in first quadrant, second or third or four. First let us see the first quadrant operation. In first quadrant we know V0 and I0 should be positive. So here you see V0 and I0 should be positive. So for that this uh, CH1 and CH4 are turned on. So when you turn on these two devices, you can see here A is connected to plus Vs. So V0 equal to Vs and I0 is also positive because con current flows from A to B. Okay. Again, CH1 will be turned off for some time. So when this CH1 is turned off, what happens? So current direction is from A to B. When you turn off this device, actually current starts to free wheel through diode D2 because CH4 is kept on only. So current will be free wheeling like this. So in this case, voltage is 0 and current remains positive. That is it flows from A to B. Now let us see the second quadrant operation. So in second quadrant V0 is positive and I0 is negative. It means that we want to make the current flow from B to A. So for that CH2. See remember it is second quadrant. So CH2 is operated. In first quadrant, CH1 is operated. It means that it is turned on and off. For second quadrant, this should be controlled. That is CH2 should be controlled. It is turned on and off. So when this is turned on, current actually flows through the diode. And you have to remember one thing. For motoring operation, you need two switches to turn on and for braking operation, one switch is enough. One switch and the diode will be in conduction. So when CH2 is turned on, the current will be circulating like this. So in this case, you know, whenever it is a closed circuit or it is a circulating current is circulating output voltage is 0 I0 direction is from B to A. Now when you switch off this uh, CH2 initially current is flowing like this so when you switch off this one the current starts to flow through the diode D1 and it flows to the supply. So always in second quadrant current is going to return back to the supply. So this is the path. So now A is connected to positive. So it is output voltage is positive. Current is from B to A. So it is negative. So for third quadrant operation V0 and I0 should be negative. So the important thing to remember here is you have to reverse the polarity of E. Because 
if you draw these beta characteristics you will get minus omega here that is in third quadrant your omega is negative it means that speed is negative back emf is negative so polarity is changed here for third quadrant operation this uh, ch3 should be operated that is it is turned on for one cycle and it will be turned off for the next period and for motoring operation so this is reverse motoring operation for that you need two diagonal devices or two diagonal switches okay so now ch2 and ch3 is turned on for forward motoring ch1 and ch4 are turned on it is just reverse of mode 1 that is first quadrant operation so chd and ch3 are turned on so the current will be from supply like this to back to the supply see always current flows in the same direction through the switch because switches cannot carry current in opposite direction so always current flows in this direction only the current through load can change depending upon which switch is conducting so here in this mode this b point is actually connected to plus and a point is connected to minus so v naught is minus v s and i naught is negative because current flows from b to a next you have to switch off CH3. So initially current is flowing from B to A like this. Now you are turning off this switch. So what happens when you turn off the switch? Current will free wheel through this diode D4. So during the free wheeling period, output voltage is zero. Current direction remains the same. So I not equal to negative i naught is negative and it flows from b to a so for fourth quadrant operation v naught should be negative and i naught should be positive so this is fourth quadrant so ch4 is operated so when it is on the current will be flowing in this direction and output voltage will be zero and current direction is positive and for uh, when the switch CH4 is turned off, initially the current was freewheeling through diode D2. Now this is turned off. So the current starts flowing through D3 and it returns back to the supply. So now this B point is connected to plus. It means that voltage is negative and I naught remains the same positive. So let us learn some tricks to remember in which mode which device is conducting. So we have forward motoring and reverse motoring. So for motoring operation two switches will be used. So you see here this is first quadrant. So here the first switch CH1 will be turned on and off. So it is operated here and two switches. CH1 and 4 are turned on that is diagonally opposite switches will be used and uh, first CH1 is on and the next time this will be turned off so at that time it will free wheel through a diode if you see the reverse motoring here it is just opposite to forward motoring here uh, CH3 this is third quadrant so ch3 will be operated that is turned on and off so opposite diagonally opposite switch is ch2 so ch2 will be on and ch3 on after that ch3 will be turned off and it will free wheel through the diode next you have forward braking for braking operation you have only one device that is one switch so this is second quadrant means ch2 will be used for fourth quadrant ch4 will be turned on and off so when ch2 is on it will free wheel through diode d4 and when it is turned off two diodes 
will be used. Similarly, in fourth quadrant also, CH4 is turned on and off and when it is on, it will free wheel and when it is off, two diodes will be used and it will be returned to the supply. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel.